Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if it's a little bit loud. Um, I have to have the window open for lighting purposes and also to have my phone somewhere because I don't have a tripod here. So this is what we're working with and there's definitely, there's a family like right there at the pool. So they might be a little bit loud because children are like absolutely feral here. Um, but anyways, so today I thought I'd show you guys around my room here in Paris. It's basically like a hotel room. Um, and I thought today would be a good day to do this because like a hotel room, my room just got cleaned and they only clean it once a month though, unless you pay for it and I'm not paying for it. So, but it's freshly clean. That's why my bed looks so, I do make it every day, but it never looks this good and clean sheets, the whole thing is clean. So I thought today would be a really great day to film and kind of show you guys around the room. I mean, it's like a hotel room, so there aren't many personal touches. I haven't really like made it home, but I also kind of have, like there's a couple things that I've done that kind of make it a bit more homey, but um, yeah, it's not anything crazy. I just thought it would be kind of cool to show. And basically if you're actually curious about, I don't know, somehow you stumble across this video and you're actually curious about it because you want to do the BU Paris program. All of the, I'm not sure if this is the same thing every semester, but all of the people on the internship track, um, which I'm on the internship track, are living in this building, but everyone else is living in another building or in homestays. So yeah, I think there's, I want to say like 16 of us or something like that in this building. So yeah, and there's a kitchen, a shared kitchen, a gym and laundry and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty nice, honestly. So. Let me show you guys around. Okay, so we're at the front door. I also apologize if I'm shaky at literally any point, but front door, and then you have like an entryway and then some hooks. So I have like, cause I'm the most basic human being ever. <laughs> oh my God, that was terrifying. My bell bag, totes, umbrella, that sort of thing. Here's it in 0.5, just to kind of get a good view. Anyways, then you come into the bathroom and this is where I've added some personal touches. So this looks disgusting, but I swear to God, it's just from the water. But I got the bath mat because basically you can see that it barely goes in. And so basically this entire bathroom becomes a wet room. So I bought that at Ikea. I also bought that pink towel and this gray towel at Ikea because you only get two big towels per month which was just not sufficient for me. And they're kind of small. Anyway, so here's the shower. Again, my room just got clean. That's why there's like a random towel on the ground and stuff. But products, um, towels, and then this is the sink area. So like all my products there, hairbrush, toothbrush, makeup, random stuff. I <laughs> The deodorants in the UK are like this. And I think in Europe in general, which like I don't think... I don't even think we have these in the States, correct me if I'm wrong, but I had to get men's deodorant when I was there because I couldn't find, um, cause I went to London before Paris. I couldn't find women's deodorant in the boots I went into. Um, I'm also the biggest boots stan literally ever. Um, towels and then like, I don't know, this is just stuff that they gave out. Um, and then here's me, I'm about to go for a run. That's why I look like this. I would not wear this like around the streets of Paris. And then I just keep my straightener down there. Then if you step out, I'm gonna also put this in 0.5 to show you guys. All right, here it is in 0.5. So bed, desk, um, what are those? Shelves, and <laughs> that's the word, drawers, and then closet. And then I'll show you guys like legitimately. Okay, so yeah, you step into here. There's a folding mirror here, desk. I have my laptop. And then there's these um, these shelves. I keep forgetting the word for shelves. Um, on this one, ignore them. It's an inside thing. But I have them. And then I also have just like the copious amounts of papers and notebooks and stuff that I've been given since being here. Here I have really, really random stuff. I have, it's a little bit dusty, but I have like jewelry in here camera these are travel products if i ever like stay overnight somewhere but i don't think i'm gonna end up doing that and <laughs> literally a nightcap so i don't get roofied never use it but it, it's there um scissors which come in so handy if you are literally studying abroad I, they i also brought them to london they come in so freaking handy claw clips um they gave us these sunglasses 
these are my actual sunglasses speaker and then down here i have this is actually a sweet treat for later tonight that i bought at this really cool um bakery but it's like a cookie thing with praline in the middle anyways um, my broken umbrella which like half works so i keep it just in case pencil case i take these vitamins every day and then like a guide um this is snacks i think yeah we have stuff I brought from home. I just got these, this giant pack today. I mean, I've tried them before, but I wanted some in the room. Popcorn that I brought from home. Oh my God, the French equivalent of Fig Newtons. Honestly, Fig Newtons are better. Um, Kinder Bueno. <laughs> um, so we've got a lot happening in there. And that's not even all the snacks. This is like random toiletry products. And then down here, okay, so a fun fact about me. When I first went to London, I wanted oatmeal i was in like an oatmeal kick at home and so i wanted oatmeal when i got there and i saw this it's literally just quaker oats quaker oats golden syrup oatmeal and we don't have golden syrup in the states as far as i'm aware um and since then i've actually tried golden syrup on its own and i'm not the biggest fan but like maple syrup is far superior but this this is my favorite thing in the entire world. So anyways, I have some of that. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna eat the rest of this. I'm gonna bring it home because I, I want to save the rest because it's so expensive to ship to the US. Anyways, um, I just bought these today, so we'll see how they are. I'm struggling with like granola bars here. And then these, oh, oh my God. These are some of the best things I've ever eaten in my life. Like genuinely some of the best things I've ever eaten in my life. I only have one left, but yeah. And then I also have like I think a baseball cap back there. And then down here I have like medicine and masks and stuff. Then for the closet, why am I out of breath? This is ridiculous. For the closet, it's actually really, really big. So it's like that. And this is just half of it. But I have like sweatshirts and stuff, which I don't have many of because I knew I was coming here and I wouldn't wear them. But because like I dress really nice here, uh, which is sad because I'm normally a leggings big t-shirt person but sweats and then jeans and jean shorts these are all my workout bottoms and then I also have like these kind of like sweat short material situation t-shirts workout shirts bras underwear socks random pillowcase because basically I brought my own silk pillowcase and they keep putting these over the silk pillowcase when they clean my room so then I just take them off and put them in here and then that's my laundry, like my dirty clothes. And then on the other side, I had to buy a ton of hangers. I just went to Ikea and bought hangers because I like my stuff hung up. But I have like coats, dresses, tops. That's it. <laughs> that's the extent of it. And then down here I have work pants, bathing suits back there, and then shoes here. And then it's just my my bed. So yeah, there's my silk pillowcase that they keep like, getting confused about, which is fair enough. Um, and then we went to Giverny um, a few, I guess yesterday. Wow, that's crazy. And I bought some reusable bags. And then I bought some prints. Um, even though, like, Lord knows I did not need any more prints. But I love Monet's stuff. Like, I don't, I'm not really a big art person, but I love Monet's stuff. I've been obsessed with this since I was a child. And so I was like, I have to. Like, I'm there. I don't know where I'm putting these. But also, they were only five euros. So, had to be done. Had to be done. And then I just have a bedside table, water bottle. Um, I don't... Oh, I have one singular <laughs> chapstick in this drawer. And, yeah, I have, like, suitcases underneath there. And that's about it. So, yeah, it's not a very interesting room. Like, I don't have much happening because it's literally a hotel room. But it's cute. And honestly, it's very nice compared to the other dorm that people are in because we have AC. We have AC that is crazy. Like I have goosebumps right now, but in the best way because it gets so freaking cold in here, but I'm obsessed with it. So, so yeah, and the building's really, really nice. So if you're actually interested in the program, pick this. It's, it's very, very nice and it's treated me very, very well. And it doesn't feel too stuck. Like you have a desk and like, I think there's things that they've done that make it feel a little bit more homey and a little bit less like I'm staying at a Hilton. So that's nice. But 
But yeah, that is my room tour. Again, it was really short and sweet because there's not, there's just not much happening, but I'm shaking mad, my Lord. Anyways, I'm gonna go for a run and I will talk to you guys later. I am currently in the midst of filming a vlog for like a couple of days worth of stuff that I'm doing. So that should be coming out shortly after this video. So yeah. Love you guys. Bye-bye.